What's good, YouTube? I am back with another video, and today I have something special for you guys. But um, before we get into that, I need you guys to do me a favor. I would like for you guys to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so that you guys can see when I post because I'm posting. I got bangers coming out. Go ahead and hit that like button too while you're at it. Thank you. But anyways, today, something special. It's a little different than normal. I will be showing you guys my new haircut. Ah, I'm just playing. Got you guys. But anyways, I actually will be showing you guys how to get dreads with hair that is this short. My hair is not that long at all. So before we actually start the process, I want to tell you guys that this, th th I'm not going to get long dreads from this, you feel me? Like, I don't have extensions, so I ain't going to do that. This is how you start dreads and keep on continuing to do this to get dreads, like grow them out as long as you want. This is not a, hey, I'm going to pull my hair really long and give you some dreads. No, this is how you get dreads, you feel me? So first, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need these, a sponge, pick, comb, and you're gonna wanna get some gel and whatever moisturizer you guys use. I use Baby Crows because it's actually really good. I love to use it. So first, the first thing you wanna do, feel me? Make sure your hair is like damp. Like you, you don't want it soaking wet because it ain't gonna work if you do that. But you want it like a little bit damp. Plus, I just got out the shower, so you know. But first thing first, you just wanna pick your hair out. Yeah, all picked out. All right, now that you got your hair picked out, it's a little bit longer, you know, it's all good. And see, this is why you want your hair to be a little bit wet, not too wet. Because if it's a little bit wet, it'll help with the moisturizing and trust me, you want it a little bit wet. But anyways, you're gonna take your baby curls. You don't wanna put a good amount in your head. Mix it all in, all the way. And when you're done, you're supposed to uh, dry your hands on a towel, but I do not have one, so I'll be right back. All right, you feel me? I got a towel, you know, on my hands. This next step is kind of important because if you don't do this, it's not gonna turn out right, you feel me? So you just gotta trust me on this. So now that you got your uh, moisturizer in, hair's a little damp. I let mine sit for a second. And you're gonna want a comb that's not too, too, like small, but like th this is a good size, okay? And you, you're gonna wanna comb it out like you did with the pick. And the reason why you use a comb is cause it gets all the little naps, everything. And that's key so that when you're twisting your hair, getting those dreads, it's not all tangled up, you feel me? Plus, this does make your hair a little bit longer, so. All right, I'm about to time lapse this for you guys. Pick it up for a minute, and then I'll get back with you guys. I just finished combing my hair. It's all combed out and stuff. Uh, it don't matter if it's like uneven, like, you know, when you comb and you have that line or whatever and stuff, don't worry about that. Cause you, you, it'll be good. But anyways, yeah. So next, what you wanna do, you gotta let your hair sit for a second so that the moisturizer can get moisturized into your hair and all that. 
because it really does help. But anyways, let that sit for about five, 10 minutes. And then, <clears throat> and then I will show you guys the next step. So I'll be right back after that time has passed. <clears throat> okay, now that your hair is moisturized or whatever, next thing you wanna do is grab your gel. You gotta make sure it's a no flaking and extra hole because that extra hole is gonna make a difference. So with the gel, you will need a lot because you're gonna have to gel your hair very often. So I'd say gel your hair like every other day for the first couple weeks. And you're gonna have to twist your hair every single day in order for it to lock. So first, you're gonna need a lot of gel. So put that, rub that gel in your hair. Yes, sir. Okay, and it might seem like you're wasting gel, but you're really not, cause this is very important. If you don't have a lot of gel, it's not it's not gonna hold. Like it's, you gotta lock your hair in. So you're gonna need a lot of gel to do this. So just rub gel in all over. All right, now that we finished putting the gel, go ahead and put that lid back on. Next step, you're gonna need this. But actually, before you do that, you wanna re-pick your hair out so that you can get that little fluff back. All right, now that you picked your hair out, we're gonna go ahead and sponge. So before I go ahead and time lapse that for you guys, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna have to sponge your hair a lot. Kind of like when you have waves, you have to brush your hair a lot. You're gonna have to sponge your hair a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and sponge my hair, time lapse that for you. Two hours later. All right, y'all, I just got finished doing that second layer, you feel me? Now it's looking extra crispy. But anyways, that, that, that is how you do it, guys. That's, that's the easy way of getting dreads with just a sponge and some gel, bro. It's that easy. So you, can, you guys should go ahead and do this, bro. Do it with me, you feel me? So before I end this video, I just wanna say, do not wash your hair often at all but it'll ruin it okay so number two you're gonna want to gel your hair every one to two days so like every other day or every two days all right guys that'll conclude today's video uh i just wanted to show you guys how to get dreads because you feel me i'm about to get my dreads back i'm excited i'm about to start on so i was like why not show people how to do it very easy very quick no one believes me that this works but i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna show you guys but anyways, thank you guys for watching the full video, and I'll see you guys next.